And uh, they're off for this Bet UK All Weather Marathon Championships Condition Stakes. Berkshire Rocker away alertly on the far side, but looking for a lead here, O'Shea Murphy. And that's provided by last year's winner, Earl of the Cotswolds, and the usual front runner with hold on the outside. Solent Gateway in third, then Berkshire Rocco. The pace early on looking quite generous. They're well strung out already. Knowlton Cross is back in fifth place, followed by Aced It and the Grey Fleur Man. Another three lengths then to Rainbow Dreamer and Baron Ball. Boyham is the back marker and must be at least 15 lengths behind the front pair, which are now Earl of the Cotswolds and Withhold, having their own private battle up front. They've gone two or three lengths clear of Solent Gateway. Berkshire Rocco is another four lengths back in fourth place. Followed then by Knowlton Cross. Another gap to Aced It and Fleur Man on the outside. Rainbow Dreamer is second last and last of all is Baron Boyham. Heading down the hill now towards the back straight. Earl of the Cotswolds on the inside of Withhold, the 2018 Northumberland plate winner. And third place then is Solent Gateway, Berkshire Rocco in fourth. Knowlton Cross round the inside of Fleur Man, aced it. Rainbow Dreamer still towards the rear of the field with Baron Boyne. So no hanging about as they now turn towards the back straight with Earl of the Cotswolds, last year's winner, leading by about a length to Withhold in second. A break then to Solent Gateway. The others are packing up a bit now as they turn into the back and head on towards the halfway stage. It's been a frenetic first half of the race. Earl of the Cotswolds withhold. His rider, Danny Tudhope, just having a look behind to see how far clear they are. Uh, they are a good six or seven lengths clear, these two. Up ahead from Solent Gateway, Berkshire Rocco in a good position on the inside in a share of third. Then Knowlton Cross from Fleur Man, aced it. Rainbow Dreamer well back along with Baron Boyne. Now the front two are, are not so far ahead now. Their lead is being eroded. Earl of the Cotswolds and withhold by only now a couple of lengths to Solent Gateway and Berkshire Rocco. And the others are closing up as well. So what have they got left, these two up front? Earl of the Cotswolds on the inside of withhold as they run now towards the left-hander, which will bring them into the home straight. Solent Gateway on the outside of Berkshire Rocco. Both appear to be travelling strongly. Knowlton Cross behind these Fleur Man, aced it Rainbow Dreamer, and Baron Boyne is still the back marker and slightly detached. Uphill now towards this final left-hander when they turn for home. They'll have three and a half furlongs left to travel and both uh, Earl of the Cotswolds and Withhold are being driven along and Withhold now gallops on into the lead from Earl of the Cotswolds. Solent Gateway Berkshire Rocco a third and fourth. Knowlton Cross Fleur Man. Rainbow Dreamer could be a danger coming from off the pace. Then Baron Boyne who's making good progress on the far side also from off the pace. Withhold the leader. Been on the sharp end all the way entering the final quarter mile chased by Solent Gateway. Baron Boyne's make good ground. Fleurman the Grey and Rainbow Dreamer. Then Knowlton Cross. Berkshire Rocco not finding any more as they race on inside the final photo and a half. Rainbow Dreamer on the near side. Baron Boyne on the far side. The pace collapsing here. Back in third is Fleurman battling on well. Rainbow Dreamer from Fleurman. These two. It's Rainbow Dreamer holding on from Fleurman. The 10-year-old Rainbow Dreamer and Holly Doyle win the marathon. Marathon from Fleurman second, back in third Baron Boyne and withhold for fourth.